Hi, my name is Rachel Hauer and I'm here to talk to you about my collection with Free Spirit Fabrics called Scaredy Cat. It's a Halloween collection 15, featuring 15 prints. Um, they started showing in October and will be shipping in May of 2022. I'm just going to jump right into it and show you what I have available. Um, this print is called Haunted House. And there you go. You can see we have the pumpkins, the haunted house, some tombstones, cat, and even a little witch on the weather vane. Some spider webs. So that is haunted house. Next up is a spider web print on a bright orange. And I hope these colors, it's always tricky on film. I think that's showing a little bit more accurately to get the colors exact. But yeah, it's a nice bright orange, not necessarily a rusty orange, although there are some prints in this collection that are a bit more on the rusty side. So this is really like a nice bright orange. Um, and here, the next one of um, some bags, this one is called Night Flyers. This is more on kind of that like classic kind of rusty orange. And I don't know if the video is going to really show the level of detail that the printers were able to achieve in these little bat faces. So here, let me show you a contrast between the two oranges. So that kind of, yeah, that's showing you nicely the difference between the two. And there are some prints which you'll see in the collection that are just going to really tie all of the oranges together so that if you have some solids you'll be able to even if it's not exactly this orange you can bring it in and match everything really nicely so that's two of the oranges and oh here so i was talking about coordinating this one is maybe my personal favorite of the collection and i really like the size that they decided to print this at this is a crazy quilt and it's kind of like a cheater cloth, which I think would be so fun, even as a, a whole cloth quilt, uh, or a backing, or as a dress, something like that. And it's just so much fun. So you can see, I don't know if it's showing up backwards because I'm filming this, but it has a boo and just spiders and pumpkins and skulls and witch hats and bats and tombstones and bones and little bones and some stripes and I try to really look at all the different Victorian or Edwardian stitching and then do some and then also do some modifications so here we have little bats as stitching little spider webs as stitching. Here we have little spiders as some stitching details. And then you just have some classic scallops and yeah, this one, I mean, there, I enjoy all of these prints, but this, this one is maybe my favorite. I think I'm going to need a dress or a tablecloth or a quilt or all three, but you can see what I mean with the coordinating oranges. That we have a little of the bright, we have a little bit of the more rusty. Okay, so that's that. Next, we have a Howl at the Moon print. Just something a little, sorry, there's a little fold in the fabric there. A little bit kind of vintage Halloween feel. Yeah, so anyway, lots of different oranges, like I was saying, oranges and white, and black, lots of fun. Next, okay, I'm going to say that all of these prints are my favorite because everyone is just so fun and they really did such a good job at the printer. So I know we're all familiar maybe with Hound's Tooth, but I bet you haven't seen a Bat's Tooth before. And there you go. So at a distance, this just looks like a regular Hound's Tooth. But up close, we have our little bats. And they're just so fun. So yeah, you can make my friend says she wants to make a 
three-piece suit out of this with the vest and everything. That would be very good. Um, okay, next up is a star spider web. It's called Star Webs. Again, we have all the different oranges together. And it's just a little bit more of that kind of vintage Halloween, but also a little bit more modern too. Just kind of a classic. I always like the classic, classic Halloween. So you have, I don't know if you can tell that there's a little spider in the center of these webs here. Okay. And then what would be Halloween? without some skeletons. So this one is rib bones. And that's just like a fun kind of graphic, directional, you know, give you some stripes. Maybe you can kind of fussy cut those and make some nice stars out of them. I don't know. You can have fun with this one as well. So that's that's um, rib bones. And then the next one is in two different sizes. I'll show you the smaller one first. This is crossbones to go with our rib bones. So just classic skulls and crossbones. And again, the printers just like, look at how small that is and how much detail they got in there. Can you see all that? Just, oh. And in case you wanted something a little bit bigger, here we have our skeletons. So you'll see the difference between this one and the other one is this one has the hand bones as well. And it's not necessarily, you have some crossbones, but not everything is doing a crossbone. Sorry, you'll have to excuse my Chihuahua. He has a lot of he has a lot of feelings that he's not in the video, but maybe we'll get him in the next one. Uh, so the next print is kind of the is the namesake of the collection, our scaredy cats. And I kind of wanted to do a little bit some prints cute and then some prints a little scary. So this ones are a little scary. And we have these scaredy cats and they each have kind of a different um, kind of <laughs> detail. You know, you have the spider web and the bat and the bow and the crossbones and they're all different, you know, all their faces. Anyway, and you can see this orange is the brighter of the two oranges. This one is similar to the spider webs. Here you go, you can see, here's the bats and, and here's the spider web. So you can see the difference in the oranges so you can mix and match. Next up, we have um, something a little bit more on the cute side. And this is our pet cemetery. with all of our friends and some of our friends wanting to be heard in the video, but that's, you know, working from home, right? So, anyway, so that's Pet Cemetery. And then another Halloween classic we have are ghosts. And this one is just simply called Boo, which, you know, you don't need to say more than that. There you go. And you can see the scale of this one. Just a nice classic, classic ghost. And as a friend of, of Boo, we also have some bats. And this one I kind of modeled off of one of my favorite craft supplies, which is Rick Rack. With this kind of, you know, Rick Rack shape. So this one is called Bat Rick Rack. So what I tried to do with this one was kind of bring in some classic kind of crafty 
fabric elements like the rickrack, like the hound's tooth, like the stripe. So, and this is more of the kind of rusty orange, similar to the other bat print. So that's that. And then last but not least, we have a cute, another cute one. This is a trick or treat. And it's a little bit of a smaller scale, which is kind of nice because you have all the larger scale prints. So this one is a fun, smaller scale, a, kind of a ditzy. And you just have like cute little silly pumpkins, you know, having a good time and some little ghosts. So this is Scaredy Cat. And I have a nice big, let me show you all of this wonderful fabric that will be coming to you starting in May. So happy sewing. I hope you're enjoying the fall and I hope you're already thinking of what costumes you'll be wearing for next Halloween. Bye.